Welcome back to Yekni. Today, we're about to embark on a journey to uncover the flip side of parenting in the animal kingdom. While many animals are known for their exceptional parental instincts and devotion, there exists a fascinating array of creatures with a reputation for being the worst parents out there. From peculiar behaviors to shocking strategies, get ready to meet the contenders who defy conventional notions of nurturing. Buckle up because this is going to be a wild ride through the world of the worst parents in the animal kingdom. Kicking off our list is the spotted hyena. These charismatic creatures may have a fierce reputation, but when it comes to parenting, well, they fall a bit short. Stay tuned to find out why male hyenas are not exactly winning any awards in the parenting department. Female hyenas are considered relatively good parents compared to males. However, male hyenas exhibit minimal parental care and may even pose a threat to their own offspring. Once a male hyena has mated with a female, he plays no role in raising the cubs. In some cases, males have been observed attacking and killing cubs, possibly to assert dominance and eliminate potential competition. This lack of paternal care and potential aggression towards offspring contributes to the perception of spotted hyenas as poor parents. Hold on tight because we're about to delve into the world of creepy crawlies. Our next contender is the redback spider. These eight-legged critters are known for their shocking behavior after mating. Brace yourself to discover why the male spider might become a meal instead of a nurturing parent. Redback spiders exhibit extreme sexual cannibalism, where the female often devours the male after mating. After laying the eggs, the female shows no further parental care. In fact, the female redback spider may even prey on her own spiderlings if she encounters them. This lack of maternal care and the potential harm posed by the mother towards her offspring are factors contributing to their reputation as poor parents. Prepare to dive deep into the ocean as we explore the mysterious world of the octopus. These intelligent creatures have an astonishing ability to camouflage and solve complex puzzles. But when it comes to parental care, well, let's just say they have a unique approach. Most octopus species have limited or no parental care. Females lay thousands of eggs and attach them to surfaces, providing some protection against predators. However, once the eggs hatch, the newborns are left entirely to their own devices. Octopuses have short lifespans and parental investment in offspring survival is minimal. The absence of any parental guidance or protection during the vulnerable early stages of life has led to the perception of octopuses as lacking in parental care. Get ready to spread your wings as we dive into the world of storks, the unexpected contenders for the title of worst parents in the animal kingdom. Prepare to be shocked as we unravel the secrets behind their parenting behaviors. Let's soar into the wild world of storks. Our journey begins amidst the sprawling nesting grounds of storks. These majestic birds are often associated with bringing bundles of joy, but don't let their reputation fool you. As we delve deeper, we'll discover why storks are considered among the worst parents out there. One aspect that sets storks apart is their lack of nest building skills. While other bird species meticulously construct intricate nests, storks opt for a rather careless approach. They simply find a sturdy treetop or even a power line, and there they lay their eggs. It's almost as if they believe any spot will do without considering the safety and protection their offspring require. When it comes to parental care, storks don't exactly win any awards. Both the male and female storks share the responsibility, but their efforts can be underwhelming. They provide minimal food and protection for their young, often leaving them vulnerable to predators and the elements. It's as if storks have adopted a hands-off approach, leaving their offspring to fend for themselves at a tender age. In stork families, it's a competition for survival, right from the start. When food becomes scarce, the stronger and more aggressive chicks dominate, leaving their weaker siblings at a disadvantage. It's a ruthless battle for resources, and the unfortunate truth is that not all stork chicks make it to adulthood. But perhaps the most shocking aspect of stork parenting is their tendency to abandon their offspring. Yes, you heard it right! If conditions become unfavorable or food becomes scarce, 
storks may choose to desert their nest and their young. This abandonment leaves the helpless chicks to face an uncertain fate, solely relying on their own instincts to survive. Before we proceed further, I want to let you know that we appreciate your presence today. If you found this video informative, kindly give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay updated on more valuable content. Moreover, it would be great if you could share your personal experiences and insights in the comments section. Together, let's establish a supportive community where we can all acquire knowledge and develop together. Get ready to fly into the world of house sparrows as we explore why these seemingly innocent birds have earned a reputation as the worst parents in the animal kingdom. Prepare to be astonished as we delve into their parenting behaviors. Let's soar into the captivating world of house sparrows. Our journey begins amidst the hustle and bustle of house sparrow nesting sites. These common urban birds have found a home among us, but their parenting skills might leave you astounded. Let's unravel the reasons why house sparrows are considered among the worst parents out there. One striking aspect of house sparrow parenting is their neglect of nest maintenance. While other bird species diligently repair and enhance their nests, house sparrows often show little interest in such endeavors. Their nests can become crowded, unsanitary, and even infested with parasites, endangering the health and well-being of their young. When it comes to providing food for their offspring, house sparrows fall short of expectations. While some bird parents tirelessly forage to secure a rich variety of food, house sparrows often resort to feeding their chicks low-quality and nutritionally deficient fare. This lack of effort in ensuring a balanced diet puts the survival and growth of their young at risk. In some cases, adult sparrows can display aggression towards their own chicks. They may peck or even kill their young due to various reasons such as territorial disputes or stress. This brutal behavior is in stark contrast to the nurturing and protective instincts we often associate with parents in the animal kingdom. Another reason why house sparrows have earned their place as poor parents is their inadequate nest defense. Unlike many bird species that fiercely guard their nests against intruders, House sparrows show little aggression or protective behavior when it comes to safeguarding their offspring. This lack of defensive measures puts their young at higher risk of predation or harm. We're hopping into the fascinating world of rabbits, but be prepared for a shocking twist. While rabbits may seem cuddly and cute, they have a surprising reputation as some of the worst parents in the animal kingdom. Let's jump right into the captivating world of rabbits. Our journey begins in the intricate network of rabbit burrows, where these furry creatures create their homes. But beneath their fluffy exterior lies a parenting style that might leave you astounded. Unlike many other animal parents who meticulously prepare nests for their young, rabbits take a different approach. They often give birth in shallow burrows or even out in the open, without any substantial nesting materials or protection. This lack of preparation can leave the newborns vulnerable to harsh weather conditions and predation. When it comes to feeding their offspring, rabbits have a relatively short nursing period. They only nurse their young for a few minutes a day, leaving the babies to fend for themselves most of the time. This limited nursing can hinder the proper development and growth of the young rabbits, potentially impacting their chances of survival. One of the reasons rabbits are considered poor parents is their prolific breeding habits. They reproduce at a rapid pace, often producing large litters. While this may seem advantageous in terms of population growth, it puts a strain on the parent's ability to provide adequate care and resources for each individual offspring. This overpopulation can lead to competition for limited resources and increase the risk of neglect. Unlike some animal parents who fiercely protect their young, rabbits have a more hands-off approach. They rely heavily on their well-developed camouflage and hiding abilities to protect their offspring. However, this means that their young are left vulnerable to predators, relying solely on their instincts and hiding skills to stay safe. And there you have it, folks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay connected with our captivating journey through the wonders of nature. Watch the next video coming up where I discussed understanding the biology of orcas as the killer whales.